I'm moving soon, and it will be the second time I've done it on purpose. Ever since this section of the Les family started, we've lived in 14 different homes. I've lived in all but one of them. We bounced around a few times in New York until I was 13. Then we moved to Puerto Rico. We moved around a bunch of times there, too. Our family made it to Florida in 2009, and we've lived in this state ever since. In 2018, I moved out of my parents' house to live with my sister, which is where I'm living right now. But by the time I finish this video, I'll probably be long gone from this place. And it just got me thinking about living and moving in general. I started by writing a thousand words about all the houses I've lived in and the memories I have there. But none of those words can capture what it was like. I never liked moving. The first move that I can remember reacting to was when I was 10 years old. I cried the night before, afraid that in the new place, I wouldn't be able to walk around with my eyes closed or find a light switch without looking. Most of my memories in that house are tied to pictures now, things that helped me shape the place where I spent what I consider the first half of my childhood. I wonder if I went back to that apartment now, would I be able to walk through it with my eyes closed? Or would it be smaller and tighter than I remember? Now that I don't need to stand on a stool to wash dishes or climb onto a chair to reach the counter. I never wanted to leave because it was our house. I didn't know you could trade out houses and start all over again. That last night I cried and tried to explain my feelings to my father, but the next day came and we still moved. Within two years, I was already over the idea of staying put. My father painted the living room of our next house and I looked at his renovations suspiciously. This wasn't our house. Why was he trying to make it look nice? I don't even really remember the house that came after that, only the places around it. My school, IS-119, TD's Tavern across the street where someone got shot on New Year's. Our new church, Christ Tabernacle, was right down the block, and my sister and I would walk there to the youth service after shock on Friday nights. I remember the pizzeria where I sat waiting silently for my forgotten order until the employees demanded to know why I was still in their store. Of course, I do remember the house with its railroad layout of connected rooms and a weird hallway on the side, but I never made any solid connection to it. One day, when my father sat us all down to tell us we were moving again, I wasn't surprised. I didn't have any reaction, really. He started counting money, showing us how expensive it was to live here in New York and that we'd be moving to Puerto Rico soon so we could save money and live closer to our family. I didn't learn until later that the increased police presence due to the recent 9-11 attacks made my father uneasy. And we wouldn't learn until later that most of our family wasn't going to stay in Puerto Rico anyway. But by this time, the unknown wasn't a thing to dread anymore. It was something that was going to happen whether I wanted it to or not. I stopped getting attached to things and places and people because we'd probably be leaving soon anyway. Now that I'm an adult, I hear people talk about wanting to plant themselves and their families, about wanting to dig deep roots somewhere, and I understand that. I want that too. I want to live somewhere and never have to move again. I want to know that the life I have in that place can be sustained for as long as I want it to. I feel that yearning to dig in deep and grow like those trees that are around for hundreds of years and reach up into the heavens. But then I think about the fact that we're not supposed to do that, at least not here on Earth. So maybe that's why nothing ever feels quite settled here. Like I don't belong in any random place that I've been living. Maybe it's because like Hebrews 13, 14 says, this world is not our permanent home. We're looking forward to a home yet to come. So I don't know. I'm going to move some time in the next few weeks if I haven't already when this video is finished. And this time it won't be because of money issues or crazy landlords or any reason other than that it's time. I won't see it as cynically as I did when I was a kid. And I won't pretend I'm moving to start a new chapter or whatever else I could say to make it seem important. Instead, I'm going with the understanding that this world, much like these random houses I've lived in, is not my home. I'm still looking forward to a home yet to come. And one day, when I get there, I'll dig in roots so deep, I'll never have to leave.